Hi, and welcome to Zildjian's online version of the SCORE magazine. I'm Peter Erskine, and I've been playing the drums just about all my life. And, well, we call them the drums, and we call drum solos drum solos. We don't call them the cymbals or cymbal solos, but I probably use the cymbals 70 or 80 percent of the time whenever I'm drumming. And they certainly play an important part of any kind of solo work that I'll do. Um, it's most common for a drum set player to use a cymbal in tandem with the drum, particularly uh, for any kind of crash or the marking of, of the beginning or ending of a phrase. But something I picked up uh, initially, I think, uh, from listening to Shelley Mann uh, was uh, the idea of playing a cymbal without an accompanying uh, unison uh, hit on the bass drum or snare drum or, or any part of the, of the drum set, playing a cymbal by itself. And all of a sudden, a crash cymbal uh, or a splash cymbal, like I have here, you hit it with a stick or a brush or a mallet uh, by itself, and it lives up to its name. I mean, it's, it's like a splash of water. And uh, much like a Piatti crash in a symphony orchestra, it's just a beautiful effect of, of, of shimmering sound. And so I would like to play a short solo for you all and demonstrate different ways of using all the different cymbals that would be in a typical drum setup, uh, both accompanied by a drum hit and also uh, appearing uh, solo by themselves in, in the course of the drum solo. I hope you'll enjoy the sounds and hopefully uh, this concept might find a way into your own music making. 